afternoon, everybody. I uh, hope you're well. Uh, welcome to our medical episode. Today, I'm going to speak to you about myths uh, about cannabis addiction and overdose. Uh, many people, you know, think that cannabis is a gateway drug when in actual fact it isn't. Um, and I want to just talk about some stats and about some facts. Because normally when you go to your doctor and you ask them about cannabis, they say, no, it's an addictive drug. And, and let's just talk about facts. So firstly, if you drink caffeine, guys, caffeine of your coffee is sitting at an addiction rate of 7%. Cannabis is actually sitting at an addiction rate of 9%. Your alcohol is sitting at 20% and your nicotine is sitting at the highest at 30%. What does this mean? It means that the addiction cannot be equated with that of your cocaine, your heroin, your opioids or alcohol. And the withdrawal is very mild and short lived. So it is absolutely, absolutely not true, absolutely not true that cannabis is a gateway drug or addictive. Furthermore, even more exciting is there actually isn't any documented evidence of a pure cannabis overdose. I'm talking about from the actual plant and whole plant it extracts not synthetic cannabis and the reason is scientific again given the fact that cannabis does not have any brain stem receptors it should be classified as a much safer medication therefore there is no potential for overdose or death so with regards to thc or your tetrahydrocannabinol you know people normally say you know if you take too much of thc what happens and yes there are adverse effects what we found in medicine, the adverse effects actually occur when we mix recreational with medicinal. And the other is when naive users actually try cannabis and the dosing is all incorrect. And this is actually what promotes or, uh, we have adverse effects, you know, because tolerance has not been built up. That's why dosing is important and we call it microdosing and we build up that tolerance for those patients. So what are the adverse effects? Quickly, we'll go through it. Xerostomia, which is your dry mouth, euphoria, which is altered consciousness, acute panic or paranoid reactions, altered motivation, impaired attention, memory and psychomotor performance tachycardia and orthostatic hypertension basically increased appetite as well which is sometimes a good side effect so what happens if you experience the side effects they should leave you in a short while six to eight hours if you consumed oils or caps two to four hours if it was inhaled and what do you do you can sleep it off you can counteract it with high doses of cbd fresh lemonade with peel fresh cold orange juice cold shower ice water in the face drink cold water so those are those are just things we can do so it's actually a very very safe medicine guys back to you Trenton yo the drugies huh? that's all I can think about the drugies you know? <laughs> eyes and drugies anyway yeah I mean the, the, at the end of the day is like the other thing people don't realize is if you're smoking cannabis with tobacco and you have this craving for it the craving is from for the nicotine not for the cannabis yes Correct. So when you talk about it, cannabis being, you know, having an addictive property, it's all in the mind. Your body can do without it. As you say, the, the withdrawal is so minor. Um, but, you know, mentally, we get into those situations where we need a, cr a crutch, you know, and we lean on those things and then it becomes negative. And I think that's the important thing about the cannabis industry is that while there are huge benefits and it's really exciting that, you know, there is such thing as cannabis abuse, you know, over yeah. consuming too much cannabis, consuming at the wrong time. Um, it also is something, it's a psychoactive uh, uh, plant and it has to be checked with respect. I think that's the most important thing. <laughs>